Hey guys, welcome back to the Harper's Homestead. We are here finishing up a couple unfinished projects. We got a cooler, we put in our bar, we're gonna put a drain system in it. Uh, we can do some cabinetry around it with some fence boards. We got a couple things to do, so here we go. Okay, so yesterday I started on this cabinetry around this cooler that I installed under the bar. It's gonna be just a little area to store some ice, you know, so when the kids are out here swimming or doing their gardening or their chores, they can come over and fix a drink, or if we got guests over and we're cooking out, we'll have a place to keep ice on hand. But I didn't want it to have to drain it all the time or dump it out or take it out, so I put a drain system in it. If you come on over here, I'll show you. It's a bulkhead drain system that I picked up from the hardware store. Just show them on down in there. Basically, it just screws together. It's got a seal on it. It's really easy to do. It's got a um, half-inch threaded side on this side, so I'm going to I'm going to install this in there. I'm going to put this piece of PVC in here, and it will drain right into our system that drains our gray water out from our, our bar sink. Now you notice I don't have a trap on here. We don't really use this for anything except rinse in our hands. It drains right out into the garden, so there's no smell that's going to be coming up through it, so there's really no need for a trap. Uh, just made it a little more simple for us. But yeah, so that's what we're going to be working on right now. So I got the Teflon tape on the, the mail in and I've got it threaded in to the drain. Just gonna tighten it up a little bit by hand. And then we're just gonna let that sit because I gotta get I gotta cut this PVC out and we're gonna put this piece in. So that's it. This is our dog Lily. Are you enjoying the sun today? So one thing I forgot to mention, when I put this cooler in, if you come around here, you know, I didn't want it to move around and shift. I wanted it to be anchored. So I built a shelf for it right here so it sits on it. It fits pretty tight in here anyway. But I'm going to screw it down with some stainless steel screws and some fender washers. I'm going to screw it down and hold it down there. I'm going to put a little caulking under the washer so it doesn't leak. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and Fasten these stainless steel screws through the cooler and into the 2x4. Okay, so I got the screws in, I got them fastened down, I have caulk underneath them. I had to scratch the fender washer plan because the screws I bought didn't fit the fender washers that I had. It's okay, and it actually worked out better than I anticipated. So, those are fastened down. The cooler is nice and secure. And, all right, next step. Okay, what I did, I took the, took the cooler top off of the cooler. I had to cut the little hinges off, and I mounted it to this piece of wood that I cut out of my top of my bar. I've sanded it, I've stained it. I'm going to put some hinges on it in a minute, and it's going to fit right in here, just like that. And it'll open nicely, we got to access the cooler. Okay, we're going to put a couple screws in this thing, and hope and pray that it opens right. <laughs> little bit of an issue. Okay, so earlier this didn't fit right. I had to take the cooler part off the bottom. I had to trim about an eighth of an inch off the side and then restain it. But I'm not going to make you watch all that. So here we go. Okay, I got the eighth of an inch cut off. It's nice and smooth. We're going to do a little sanding on it. Put a little stain on it and then bolt it on. Okay, I got the uh, door cut down, it fits now, I got my hinges mounted, it actually works pretty well. Uh, this cooler lid still comes down and fastens nice and tight, so the ice should stay 
cold and as it melts it'll drain I haven't got that put in yet but that's what we're about to do so we're gonna cut this off attach that T in there hook up the line and give her a test run Okay, one thing I need to do here in order to cut this space out, which I cut right there, I'm going to loosen this fitting so the pipe will slide up and in to, oh, well, at least I thought I was going to do that. There's always another way to do things and that's to take the sink off. Sometimes things don't go as you wish. Sometimes you just gotta do it the hard way. It kind of seems like that's the way I always do it. But that's how you learn. You learn by making mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you don't learn. You might touch it different. Hasn't made enough mistakes. Hey, Lily, you coming over to join us? Huh? All, right. All right, so we got our pipe cut. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. Got it cleaned up. I'm gonna put some PVC glue on it, put it together. Anytime you're working with this stuff, it, wherever it gets, it usually stays, at least until it dries and you can pick it off, but sometimes it's a pain in the butt. So anytime you can put a towel down is extremely helpful. like a dummy as I was talking to you and cutting I cut too much off I cut uh, probably that much too much as you notice my sink no longer beats up so it's an easy fix but I got to cut this again and put a coupling in here and try to extend this a little bit so earlier you saw where I screwed up and I cut the PVC too short uh, it just from talking to the camera and not paying attention and you know, the old measure twice, cut once thing. Yeah, didn't do that. But luckily, this will help fix the problem. So let's go back over there and fix it. Okay, so we're going to put the coupling in. And by the way, I am not a plumber. I'm an average guy. I'm actually a firefighter. But, you know, I figure stuff out just like everybody else needs to do. Screw up, you fix it. Or you find somebody who knows what they're doing and you ask them. But this is relatively easy stuff. I just screwed it up because I wasn't paying attention. Put a coupling in there. Make sure my length is correct for this one. So I don't want to screw up again. That would be real stupid. said it's hard to keep this stuff from getting everywhere so just remember that put a towel down like this at least there's nothing on the concrete okay I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out and put some water in it and see if she leaks and she leaks like a sieve. So, let's figure out what's going on with the leak. May just need a little more Teflon tape. It may just need to be tightened a little more. We'll figure it out. I thought it was my Teflon tape going into the actual through hole. However, turns out it's the through hole that's leaking. I'm going to go get some pipe dope put in there on both sides, tighten it back down, see if we can get it to stop leaking. Okay, so I got the drain attached. I got the mistake fixed. We're going to take a little break from the work 
um, and show you something fun. It's my son on a swing he built. Yeah. All right, that's my son back there in the back. Uh, you can follow him on Outdoor DIY. He does some pretty cool stuff like builds traps, does tests on arrows and bows and pellet guns and all kind of fun stuff. But that's his little channel, Outdoor DIY. Check it out. See what's going on. So earlier, earlier we had a leak under here. And since then, We were able to fix it. Well, what I thought was my Teflon tape leaking, turns out it wasn't, it was the through valve. Um, I had used caulk to try to get it to seal, it wasn't working right. I should have just gone straight with old plumber's putty. Makes a nice seal. And no leaks, so I've tested it a few times. It drains perfect. So here's the lid. Got the hinges working, got the cooler lid fastened down, got the through hole in, the screws that are holding it, all of it's caulked, everything's not leaking, everything's solid, snaps in there. boards up. We got this corner done with the framing. Just getting ready to cut a couple of these and roll them up. All right, well I've got most of the side boards up now. Um, the cabinetry is pretty well framed in. I still got to make a door for right here, but I'm going to have to do that in another video because I ran out of wood. But the cooler works great. It drains good. I also, <clears throat> another video coming up. I'm going to talk about this drainage system. It's just gray water. It's just basically rinsing your hand water. It drains out into the garden, but I'm going to do a leak system out there, a very basic um, leak system, and I'll, I'll address that in an upcoming video. But thank you guys for watching today, and join us again on the Harper's Homestead. we got lots of projects around our property. We're just beginning homesteading, but our property out there, we're going to start doing some chickens and some gardening and Lots of things, so stay tuned. Appreciate you guys watching.